Okay, guys, lower your volume. I'm gonna do some sound clearing. So this week we're doing all zodiacs. We've already done Leo through Capricorn. Now we're doing Aquarius. So this is for the Aquarius Collective. You don't have to be an Aquarius for it to resonate with you. If you found the read, it just may be for you. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Know that roles can be reversed. If I say to you, it could be a person. Know that tarot is for entertainment purposes, also to give you some clarity to your situation. And personal reads can be booked uh, over on my website, rootsandrewards.com, and purchased on Venmo, Jesse Ray 21 Everything's in the link in the, in the description box below. All right, so Aquarius, what's going on, Aquarius? Let's see, what's up? What's going on with your energy? All right, so you, there's competition here for this person that uh, has their eye on you or they have, uh, you have your eye on them. There's competition. Someone has a lot of options and maybe having a hard time making a decision on their options. All right. Ooh, they do like you. Okay, they do like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun flirting, and someone wants to date here. All right, so Aquarius, what's no additional message? All right, so what's up with this person? Let's see, Aquarius, what are they needing to hear for the hard day? Aquarius, okay, so this might be a past person. Oh, okay, what's going on here? Okay, so, hmm. Okay, it's looking like uh, it's a past person that was being a thief in the night. Maybe coming in, offering you something, and then running out to their other options. They had a lot of, uh, you guys had a lot of lust energy between the two of you. Maybe a Capricorn or, you know, this person just sexually drawn to you. Now... The devil also shows that this person has toxicity, uh, maybe addictions, obsession, jealousy here, you know, mm, sabotaging. They sabotage this connection with you. Now, these two cards aren't supposed to be there, but again, it's showing that this is an old person wanting to come back after an ending, a rebirth. Uh, they are um, having a hard time tempering themselves they weren't balanced with you at all. Yeah, this person wasn't balanced with you. But here they come. Could be a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Capricorn. Well, here they come with that uh, apology after, you know, holding back from you, being greedy. So they've come to the realization that they want to grow this connection with you. All right. So you may not know if you want this person back or not because they trapped you a lot of mental conflict they stressed you out it took a long time um, for you get to get out of your head from this situation could have been you know the last eight months you just felt trapped and bound by their lack the lack that they they left you in see the options the illusions that's being lifted here with the seven of cups being in reverse so let's see what does this person want from the aquarius what are they looking to do in the next week or so what is this person coming in 
to do. Balance the scales. Balance the scales. This person may say that they want to go to counseling. Uh, they may be telling you that they want a commitment now after taking too much from you. So definitely coming in to balance it with the temperance and the six of pentacles and the five of pentacles here. So they've, they've, uh, have sat on it, you know, they definitely sat on the ending. They sat on losing you. So it took this person losing you, you ending the relationship, them ending the relationship, them going hermit, you going hermit, you isolating, you becoming aloof and distance for this person to realize and become wiser that they want to commit to you at this point. Could be a Taurus energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo. Virgo might want a rebirth here. All right, so they want communication. They want communication back with you. What else does this person, let's see, change decks. What's going on? Does Aquarius need me here for the Harrogate? Very soon. So they'll be coming in very soon, being all gushy-ushy with you. Clearly, uh, they're clearly deciding what they want for giving and learning from the, you know, the situation, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So they're coming in in a more pleasant manner. They're calling you in here. They may be doing like some type of visualization or praying for you. It looks like they're going to be coming in in a flirting manner, like more playful, lighthearted, lovey-dovey energy. Okay, so extend your lighthearted energy to others. So it's saying, you know, be be open to hearing this person out. You don't have to take them back if you ain't feeling it. Uh, but, you know, be understanding to what they're wanting to come in and yeah, keep an open mind. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Just keep an open mind, hear them out, uh, especially if you have children with this person. Um, you want to keep it peaceful and content with that. So... This may not be a lover. This may be like a dad or mom, a sister, he healing family issues. Uh, some type of behavior that wasn't acceptable for you with your children. Someone wasn't doing right by, by the children. Or this was influencing the children in a negative way. So someone had to say, you know what? Stay away. Stay away. But it's saying this person wants you to have an open mind and hear them out and know that they're being um, honest with you, that they want to reconcile, they want to uplift the, the uh, relationship with you. They want to hold on to you. They don't want the distance here calling you to trust them. They're wanting to gain your trust back and make the effort. So they're putting in the effort. Stay optimistic about your love life. So this could turn around for you guys. Heart to heart conversations. You see, this person is really coming in, um, wanting to engage with you, possibly wanting to marry you, uh, or giving you that safety. Saying, you know what? It's you, you that I choose. I'm not choosing anybody else. I want, I want to marry you. I want long term investment with you. And. Just trust me. So you have to decide whether or not this person is trustworthy of your attention after they gave you, you know, there was some manipulation there, running away. Um, you know, few choice words were spoken. Maybe they just couldn't feed into emotionally because they were fearing intimacy. They kept it very surface level with you. All right, good. So it looks like they're coming back. They're bringing keys and wanting to move in and get it going. So let's see what this person wants to say that they're unable to say. My love me, love me not Oracle deck. On the bottom of the deck, I'm sorry. 
Okay. I think you've released this person to a certain extent. So I feel like you're not really harping on it as much now as you used to. I'm trying to forget you. That's what you're trying to say. They've tried. They've tried forgetting you, but it doesn't work. Doesn't work. I hope you miss me. This might have been a toxic connection between the two. We're not meant for each other's in reverse. They don't feel that. They don't feel that you're always on my mind. They feel that you are, you are their person. We're toxic together. I already said that. You may feel like going back to this person, it's going to start another loop cycle, like a toxic cycle again. I know I hurt you badly. So they're well, well aware of their behavior, their actions. You see right through me. So you called them out on their bullshit. And I think they're thankful that you called them out on their bullshit. Maybe, you know, a lot of people are not truthful with this person. And you weren't, you weren't sitting here taking their shit anymore. Being strung along by this individual. Being backstabbed somehow by them. So you're like, peace. All right, so what do they want to do to you sexually? Let's see. I'm going to get you guys out of here. So this is my sexy time oracle deck. Twin flame inspired masculine feminine energy. These can be purchased on my website. They're 40 each. So what do they want to do to you sexually? Uh, let's get in the back seat. Let me pinch your nipples. <laughs> Let me pinch your nipples and let's get in the back seat. They can't wait. They can't wait to get naughty naughty with you. The attraction isn't there. What's that about? Are you no longer attracted to this person because of their backstabbing ways? Is it maybe the attraction is fading away because of their behavior? soulful connection i'm waiting on you that's how they feel about the connection at this point they can't deny that there is something there between the two of you and they need to revisit it i'm waiting i'm waiting for you in the distance in the shadows they'll be pe peeking their head out at you no worries there all right so that's what i got for you guys hope you uh enjoyed the read Hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. I do appreciate all likes, donations, and kind words you give me on a daily basis. And let me pick one Moonology card for you since there is a full moon coming in. Let's see advice here. For Aquarius. Maybe something for Aquarius. I want one more. Give me one more. Okay. Step out of your comfort zone. All right, so maybe you have to think a little bit differently when this person comes approaching and you're going to have to meditate and contemplate whether or not you want to uh, have this person back in, in your energy field. All right, that's what I got for you. Up next is Pisces. Hope you guys like the read. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm a, a real estate agent here in uh, New Jersey with One Stop Realty Shop. So if you're looking to buy, sell, or rent, hit me up on IG. Uh, it's Jesse Ray, One Stop Realty and Roots and Rewards. Bye, guys.